Grim Rising, y'all. Good morning to those who like to say good morning, good evening, uh, whatever time it is where you are. So I wanted to, um, you know, yesterday when I came on talking about, you know, trees that will be cut down and thrown into the fire and all of that stuff, the Most High made me do that for a reason, okay? Uh, just like uh, they made me give that message about uh, never helping people who try to cage or discourage you, who are secret enemies. I want to share with you that there was someone who came to me for a reading who's a very much a divine feminine, very much on the right spiritual path, very much been under attack from different forces uh, and different individuals on YouTube as well. And it's some of the same individuals that um, I've talked about on my channel, not all of the same individuals that I've talked about. Uh, on this channel, but some of the same ones were against this person. And so uh, this was the person whose reading was taking forever to fucking upload. I mean, it was uploaded, but it was taking forever to process. And so I really, I really had to focus my energy. And right after I got done um, voicing my frustration about long processing time, as soon as my video went up about Five minutes later, as soon as my YouTube processing video went up, about five minutes later, her her video that had been taking four hours stuck in processing immediately appeared. Okay, there is spiritual warfare going on that you all have no idea about. Okay, this person had a dream. There was somebody who's very known on the platform. Okay, uh, that I've talked about before, who's a demon priestess, you know, not talking about Nubian news, the other one. OK, because I'm not giving power to her name again. I mean, we're just going to refer to her as the fucking demon priestess. This motherfucker was trying to interfere with me giving this young woman a reading. OK, and her getting her reading. And I could feel the heavy energy over this person because this person has attacked this person before or bothered them before. OK, well, uh, the young woman who I did the reading for reported that she had a dream of this individual last night and that I intervened. OK. All right, so I just want you to know, uh, excuse me, no, she didn't have a dream. She had a, um, she had a vision of the demon priestess and I intervened and stopped her. And then the young woman came out of the vision, meaning I stopped the demon priestess. Okay, so you wonder why they were running smear campaigns against me? This is why, because I fight them. And I block them from doing the shit that they want to do to divine feminines and divine masculines. Just like I did it for Miss Kenyatta. Okay. I stepped in and stopped some shit that people were attempting with her. Okay. So when I tell you that I take a lot of risk, it doesn't mean that, oh, something bad's going to happen. No, I'm saying I have a lot that I do for people that I don't know personally against dark forces that want to hold them and shackle them and cage them like a bird that's why the most i had me give that message there are young ladies even some my age and some older they're young at heart we're not talking about chronological age we're talking about fresh pure heart heart chakra on fleet you know what i'm saying pure love energy these women are being targeted heavily. They are women of color, a lot of them, but not all of them. I have been intervening in a lot of fucking cases. And unless they come and tell me, I don't usually have memory of it. I just know I felt the resistance from the demon priestess. And I knew when I went to sleep because it was going late into the night because I put that YouTube long processing time video up around 9, 30. I know it was going late into the night and I know I got it popping when I went to sleep. But either way, the young woman said she had a vision. So it wasn't necessarily last night. She didn't say when the vision was. She just said I intervened and stopped the demon priestess. Okay. So people are now have been reporting to me that I've had to deal with these karmics on astral, these demonic demon possessed bitches on astral and you know in the spiritual realm so apparently i intervened i don't even know if i was awake or if i was asleep i don't know when the vision happened it's not even important i'm just glad i was able to assist her 
So people that were asking why somebody was talking shit about me, why wouldn't they? They're along with this individual and they don't like the fact that I get to stop the stuff that they're trying to do. They vamp off of people. So if I'm stepping in and blocking them, they're not going to like that, are they? If I'm stepping in and stopping an attack that they've been getting away with for a long time, they're not going to like that, are they? As Sapphire said, I walk and I, I came with the archangels. A lot of times I come by myself. But I'm never truly by myself. That's why they don't like me. That's why they play a lot of games. Because I really do stop them from doing the stuff they're, they're used to getting away with. Nobody else may have been stepping in for these people. But I am. Or I have. You know what I'm saying? There may not be anybody else on YouTube that has intervened for them. Intervened spiritually like that for them. And I'm not talking about it as if I'm some savior. I'm saying there may not have been any other content creator that spiritually has the ability to step in against another content creator slash witch coven slash you know satanist whoever they are whatever their practice is is not here or there the fact is i it's not likely that they've come across another person on youtube who has stepped in in the nick of time when somebody was trying to bind them with magic whether it be their own family or whether it be somebody else on youtube or on another social media platform. It's unlikely. And in fact they haven't said anybody else has done it. So that's one of the reasons why they were running the smear campaign. I just wanted you all to know that. This is another person that I've never met. Never corresponded with. Like never talked on the phone with. Never texted. Just emailed. She emailed me and told me that this person. This demon priestess had been messing with her. And then she said when she had a vision of her again, she told me initially that so a couple weeks ago, but she said she had a vision of her again. She just wrote that early this morning around one o'clock. She said she had another vision of the same demon priestess and I intervened and stopped her. That's why they don't like a bitch. Okay. Did you, y'all need to refer back to my divine matriarch shine video. Watch how the light cuts through me and follows me. That's why they don't like me because I scatter roaches, baby. I'm raid on a black bitch's ass. A black bitch that plays too much with magic. I'm raid on the motherfucker's ass. If I've got assignment over the person and they've come into my portal and they under my motherfucking protection, I'm chopping it up. Okay? I'm fucking it up. All right. Don't matter what your race is, your ethnic background, your creed, your cult, whatever. Don't matter. I'm going to fuck it up if I'm if I'm assigned to you. I'm going to fuck it up. I'm going to fuck them up. I'm going to run them off. Okay. Me and some other people, let me just tell you right now, without saying no names, they know who they are when they hear it. I had to run you off from doing your foolishness too. You be lying when you say you don't be doing that shit. You be lying. You open that fucking portal in my house. You do the same shit. You be lying. Stop lying about that shit now. We know. Now, I don't hate you or nothing. I'm just saying, you on some wild shit, baby. You wild for the night. God damn it. I told you, you do so much shit. I can't even keep up with the motherfucking shit consciously. I don't even know what the fuck you be doing all the time. I don't always be there, but I have been there several times when you've messed with people that are under my protection or that have come into my field that God have sent into my field. People that God have told to subscribe to me and write me. You was fucking with them. And I had to come in there fussing, cussing, speaking another language, doing whatever to get your ass or, or fighting, whatever, to get you up out of there, run you off and you take off running. Stop playing with these people. But you ain't going to do it because God said you ain't going to stop. But I'm just saying, that's another one. It's multiple bitches I've had to run off from attacking people. So whatever they say publicly, of course they're going to talk shit publicly because they don't tell you that I fucked them up on the Astro. I made them run on the Astro. They don't tell you that shit. They're not going to come and, and, re and report that to you. They're just going to make up lies. They're not going to come and report to you that I, I have enough power to block everything they're doing to people. If they're trying to interfere or actually stalk somebody, like this person said, she had a vision. That's in that's an astral stalking. 
coming in, you know, coming into somebody's third eye or their psyche and I'm intervening, why wouldn't they be mad? They're like, who, like, who is this that even has the power to stop me? That's, I'm not necessarily this person's ancestor, even though me and Miss Kenyatta are related. I'm just saying, I'm not this other person's ancestor necessarily. I don't know, but I, I, you know, I'm intervening. So why wouldn't they be mad? So there's the answer to your question. You don't know what's going on in the spiritual. I can't report all of it. I have to wait on people to confirm or deny to me. Or if I actually am allowed to remember something, then I can, you know, report as uh, I'm allowed to. But if people come and report it to me, then I can share that if I'm allowed to. But yeah, that's the kind of stuff that goes on. They don't tell you about that, do they? They don't tell you how I run them off just by my presence. When they trying to attack somebody and vamp and leech and do dream uh dream attacks and um trying to put somebody in sleep paralysis and shit like that, they don't tell you how my very presence runs them the fuck off and 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 stops it. Do they? They don't tell you that, do they? They don't tell you that at times my guides will intervene on the person's behalf. They don't tell you that, do they? Okay, so just wanted to let you know that. Hmm. Uh, by the way, um, that really grieved my spirit, ma'am. And you know who you are. That really, 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 really fucking grieved my spirit. Both of these occurrences grieved my spirit. I'm just now reading the one about the vision of the demon priestess that I intervened in. But that's bothered, that that grieves my spirit. But this other one, hmm, this situation uh, that you have been um, involving yourself in and perpetrating against somebody that is very special to me. Okay. Um, that grieved my spirit to no end. So I put out a five alarm fucking s smoke signal. Like I said, I haven't talked to this person or anything, but that really fucking bothered me and it angered the gods and goddesses. You know, you're accusing people of being jealous of you. She's not jealous of you. I'm not even going to entertain what else you said. That grieved my fucking spirit tremendously. It made me very angry. Okay. And when it made me that upset, it made all the deities and beings around me very upset. I could feel the anger and the rage. You and I both know that you don't have a capability to fight me, okay? You and I both know that I try to lay off of you, okay? I know that you don't mean me any harm. I know that, okay? That's why my soul does not dislike you as a person. My soul dislikes your behavior and the things that you got going on and the things that you won't fix. You've gotten way over into some shit that you don't have no business in and it's too late, but that's not up to me to judge or decide upon. Okay. I'm telling you it's too late, but I'm just saying it's not up for me to get into. I'm not even, you know, that's not even, that's a moot point at this juncture. All right. You disrespect me every time you do this shit to people that I am assigned protection over. You disrespect me while at the same time in your videos respecting me but then on the astral you then respect me do you understand what i'm saying by you attacking people in my circle and i don't mean coven or like that i mean people that are under and under the sound of my voice and my that i'm assigned protection over which is not everybody that listens but the people the special people that have been put under my protection right that God has sent to me 
that God has given me orders on. I don't even know who all of them are, right? But you disrespect me by going against them. You disrespect me by saying lies, by, by, by parroting lies about them. You disrespect me by targeting their channels. You disrespect me by accusing them of things that we both know and you know are untrue. If you want to be the biggest and the baddest in the fucking tarot community, go ahead. I'm not trying to stop you. Nobody's really trying to stop you, I don't think. Because you're just going to do what you want to do. Because pride cometh before the fall. And so, no, I don't think anybody in tarot land wants you to stop doing your content. I don't think that's what it is. I think the whole consensus has been... Stop attacking people and plagiarizing and copying and passing it off as your own and then insulting the people you got it from. Okay. You respect me on astral. You respect me in the spirit. You fear me. But you attack people that you know I'm over. Not meaning rulership that you know that I'm assigned to. To help. You attack them. And you expect that not to be taken as a disrespect to, to me and to the other gods and gods that are over me and the Most High himself. Because see, the Most High wouldn't have sent them to me. And they wouldn't be benefiting from uh, whatever things that I do and say and teach and help them with. And even ministerial um, gifts that I share with them spiritually that, that's not in the 3D. The most I wouldn't have sent them to me if it wasn't for the greater good because it don't ain't, ain't no fuck shit coming out of this portal. Okay. You disrespect me and I am tired. While I know you don't mean me any harm, you are doing too fucking much. It bothers me to no fucking end. I tried supporting you. That wasn't enough. You get jealous of anybody that's close to me, seem like. Why the fuck would you accuse her of being jealous of you? The devil is a fucking lie. That's a goddamn lie. And we both know it. You know it too. Now, there might be another old hoe, as you call it, that's jealous of you. But it ain't that one. You need to turn that energy to maybe the Caucasus vampire. Maybe maybe that's you need to turn that to her. But it ain't that one. The one that's related to me by blood. It ain't that one. See your anger and your energies. Negative energy is misplaced. You need to turn that on the ones that have been smearing you across YouTube. And Facebook and Instagram. For the greater part of a year. You need to turn that to them. Because it ain't this one. Okay, we both know it ain't her. So maybe you're scared of those people. So you find ways to get your anger out by vicariously living through other people, misidentifying other people as being the ones who are sending jealous energy to you. No, 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 no. Mm -mm. There is no jealousy there. All right. When it comes to you. Now, for the others, I'm sure, yeah, I'm sure they're, they, they have a problem with you, but I know that they don't have a problem with you for no reason. They have a problem with you for good reason. All right. But because of the things that you're doing, I know you are not a divine feminine. You do do readings for divine feminines, but you are not a divine feminine because of the things you do. Like the Bible says, a bad tree cannot yield good fruit and a good tree cannot yield bad fruit. So if you're attacking DFs, because we know what you did to me. If you're attacking DFs, then we know you can't be a DF. Now, I'm not saying that God's children don't get into it sometimes. I am saying that uh, you take shit too far. You don't have enough self-control. You don't have enough spiritual control. 
And the fact that you don't have enough spiritual control is the fact that I have to get down behind your ass every time I fucking turn around. It's good practice. You know, it keeps me frosty, as they say. It keeps me on my toes. But I don't like having to deal with you all the time. I don't like having to hear the fuck shit that you're engaging in. I don't like people coming to me and telling me all the shit you're uh, you're allegedly doing to them. And I'm only saying allegedly to be facetious. We know you're doing it. We know you're doing it. Because I heard you trying my door the other night and you couldn't get in my room. I heard the noises and the stuff falling over. You probably sent some demons, but I know you probably asked or projected into my house, but you couldn't get in my bedroom. And my guy said, yes, she did. Okay, so I know that was you, but you couldn't get in my bedroom. Okay. The next time you try to come to my house, you will die. You will physically die. Okay. I didn't have to get up to do anything. I heard everything that, you know, all the little noises and stuff. I heard all of that. I heard all of that. I heard the sound of something being knocked over, yet nothing being knocked over in my room. I got up and inspected. It wasn't nothing knocked over in my room. I heard all of that. I heard, you know, it sounded like something was pushing against the door, jingling the door handle. I heard all of that. Those are not my guides. That was you, right? The next time you come to my house, you will physically die. So say if the most high, okay? The next time you go to her house, you will physically die. So I encourage you to do that shit to the karmic people to or whoever your little real enemies are. You need to do that to them. Okay, do that to them. Y'all, you know, have a good old honky-tonk good time. You know, a honky-tonk good time. You know, tear it up, tear it the fuck up. Go do that to them. Don't do it to me. And don't do it to her. Don't do it to any of the DFs that don't mean you no harm. And I know that if you use your pendulum or you do your scrying or whatever it is, your, your tarot, I know that the cards would reveal that... Neither one of us meant you any harm, but yet you were bothering us. I can't speak for other people though. I don't know what I don't know what you got going on with them other people. Okay. I know I know enough, but I'm not gonna get into it. I'll just say it like that. Okay. I asked you not to bother her, and then what do you do? You do a public campaign, basically. Not really a campaign, a public, you know, jab, basically. I asked you not to bother another lady, and you know who she is, because you go to her channel. I asked you not to bother her, and you do a public attack, in a way. Leaving little comments and stuff. I asked you not to bother a lot of Divine Feminines, and you still bother them. Your reckoning is coming, because... It just is. All right. Um, and that's all I have to say about it. Okay. So to those of you that were curious, you know, uh, it goes down in the DMs, like I say, in the other dimensions, you know, uh, that's why they were mad. Okay. That's why they were mad. Uh, that's why they are mad. They know my power. All right. They know where I'm going. They know my destiny. They know that I am the real fucking deal. And anybody can say that, right? But you who are out there, who are highly gifted yourselves, who have your own measures of divining, look in on me. If you're allowed to, if my, you know, I don't think my guides are going to block it or my ancestors. Okay, and they said, no, we're not going to block it. We'll let them see. Okay, so look in on me. You can you can read me if you want. Read me and see who I am. Read my aura. Okay? I encourage you. My guys and ancestors are saying we are not going to block it because they need to see. Read me. Now, we're not talking about karmics that, you know, um, 
mess and play around with their cards and you know set we're not talking about a setup shit we're talking about real people that will really look and see all right and really really acknowledge you know the truth for what it is they are hold on okay they said for people that are gonna read me or look in on me that they're gonna allow a, a open period for that because of all the smearing and stuff that's gone on and the deception i'm sure there's a lot that i've already tried to read me or whatever but um contrary to popular belief you can read anybody that's a lie people running around talking about they got mirrors and you can't read them that's a lie i was able to send the person to a psych ward their mirrors did not stop me from being able to do that okay all right, I was able to close their portal and run them up out of my fucking house, okay? So their mirrors didn't stop me from doing that. So certainly their mirrors are not going to stop somebody from reading them that's truly gifted, all right? Because um, I've already read the person, so it didn't stop me from reading her. But I can't speak for others. So, But they are saying that those of you that read me and try to flip it and try to turn it into a lie or become jealous or envious because of what you see, you will get hurt. Okay, so don't read me and try to use it for wrong. Read to look, look and see for honesty and for clarity. All right, of who I am. The truth, all right, will be revealed to you. But if you try to spin it and, and lie and try to purposefully read what's being decoded to you wrong and try to flip the script. Like, you know, demons do, they try to, you know, invert, they invert everything. They pervert everything that is of the most high. If you try to do that, you will get hurt. Warning is out. They will allow certain people to look in on me who want to know who I am. They will reveal it. They've already revealed it to Sapphire. I'm sure Sapphire wanted to know. That's why they allowed her to see me like that. Okay. Coming in the war paint with archangels. That's why they allowed me to her to see me in the uh, eager realm, which is a shadow realm. That's why they allowed her to see me because I'm sure she was curious about who I am, which real ones should be curious about each other. We should be able to find each other. We should, we should know each other. We should try to at least. That don't mean we got to be friends and besties or nothing in real life. I'm just saying we should know each other in the spirit because the veil is thinning and the veil is eventually going to be non-existent. And what you thought was invisible will become visible. So that is the importance of knowing who people are spiritually. So they are putting the warning out there. If you're going to look in for those that haven't and want to, uh, those that are given permission will be allowed to. The, and if you try to pervert what you see and you really see me as the divine anointed one that I am and you try to lie and say it was some fuck shit, you will get seriously injured for that. If not, die. And if you don't die, something, somebody very close to you will die. They're not playing with this kind of shit. All right? Like I said, anybody can be read. A mirror ain't going to stop nobody from reading somebody else. All right? If I can get to you on astral and stop you from doing your fuck shit to a stranger, then I can definitely read you. All right? Okay, now that that's been said, I just wanted to put that out there. Okay? That's why the bitches don't like me. I interfere with a lot of their stuff that they try to do to people. When people get connected to me, they'll a lot of times try to delay people from getting in contact with me. When people get connected to me, then that's how people get empowered. They get activated. They get the tools they need. And then when the people come into my field, they all of a sudden got protection on them from me and my guides. And, you know, it's different. It's different shit. It's like running. It's like, you know. A horde of zombies being after you and then you get to you get to run onto the military base and that shit is gated and it's 12 foot high fences you safe baby <laughs> get on base get on base right get on base with the starfire alchemist aka metaphysical life mastery get on base right come on through the gate the ones that are allowed you better you gotta show your id though because <clears throat> the military don't protect everybody we don't we don't protect all civilians Okay, so uh, just make sure 
to keep all of this in mind when you're hearing people smear stuff or tell lies on me or whatever. Just keep in mind that they're mad because I fucked up something they were trying to do spiritually. Either I fucked it up or I blocked it or they were mad or they're, or they're just mad at who I am, period. It's, it's something like that. You know, that's usually the reason why somebody would make up a lie about somebody they don't know, you know, or work so hard to discredit somebody. If if somebody has to work extremely hard to discredit another person like that, just know that because they're possessed by demons, they're working hard to discredit the person because the person really is worthy of credit and is really, really fucking divine. Look how hard they worked to discredit Yeshua. They still doing it to this day. So anytime you got to put in that much aggression against somebody, especially with a small channel to discredit them, you better understand that that's the real fucking deal, especially how it happened to me. I'm not saying all cases when they do that, you know, is it, you know, unwarranted. I'm just saying how it happened to me. It was a test, but it was also um a portal that i had to walk through in order that certain things would come to pass certain things would be solidified written in stone if you will all right so um because of the spiritual ranking that i have and being a real spiritual judge not just calling myself one really being that there are going to be people who will lie on me and then they have they have to do it because it's a karmic contract or whatever. They have to do that shit because I'm I'm a judge over them and I have to sentence them to death. Of course the most high supreme is, you know, the most high supreme, but I'm saying they have to do that. They have to commit a crime against me and my house meaning my lineage which spans many different cultures. They have to commit a crime against my DNA, against my light codes, against my auric field so that I can judge them because my Pluto's in Scorpio and so is my Saturn so that I can sentence them because I am a spiritual judge. I saw it over 10 years ago that I will be seated with the judges. The ones that talk about in the book of Revelations, I will be seated amongst them. Okay. All right. So I don't care what lies people tell real recognize real. And eventually, like I said, it's all going to become very, very clear. Who's who, if it hasn't, if it's not clear already, it will be, it will be clear. It won't take long. And my God said, matter of fact, it'll be in a few months. It'll become very, very clear. Okay. Very, very obvious in a few, within the next few months. Okay. Who is who? So that's why I said, you know, um, that's why they told me, you know, don't even get into the, uh, don't, you don't have to even really <clears throat> pay much attention to the karmic versus divine label. Just, you know, evaluate their actions. That's because that's what we're, we're in a tangible realm. We're in 3d, you know, we're in corporate, we're in the corporeal plane or the, the physical plane. So we have to pay attention to actions and words and sound and all of that. And even though sound can transmute dimensions and actions can have ripple effects into other timelines and dimensions, because we're humans, the best way you can identify them is by their actions, okay? And by their frequency, how you feel listening. How do you feel listening to them? How do you feel being subscribed to them? How do you feel being around them? If you've gotten a reading or a consultation from them, how do you feel afterwards? Did your life improve after you were corresponding or, you know, able to get some mentoring or counseling or reading from the person? Did you, did you, did it open you up? Did it expand you? And we're not just talking about like mundane type of expansion where, oh yeah, you confirm that my boyfriend's cheating type of shit. We're not just talking about that. We're did it expand you? In a bigger way when it comes to your lineage and your DNA. That's why people come to me for ancestral readings. And past life readings. They don't come to me for too many fucking love readings. They come to me for the real shit. Because I can activate them in that way. And I can tell them where certain things are coming from in their line. Alright. 
So this is why. All right. I've got to write a couple of you back. I'm sorry. I forgot. Um, it's, Let me make sure that I let me see. Did I write? OK, yeah, I got to write somebody back. OK, I forgot. Damn. So I got. Yeah, I got two more to write back. So my apologies, y'all. I got two ladies that I got to write back from last week. I forgot. I I didn't forget, forget, but um, I got preoccupied with other stuff. Okay, so yeah. Uh, yeah, so let me write her back. Okay, let me get on that. But anyway. You disrespect me. You are going to be put to shame in front of everyone. You and the others that are guilty too. Okay? It's going to be some town, square, town pariah shit. Pitchforks and goddamn lanterns. It's going to be some shit like that. Okay? All right. And my guy said, that's all I need to say, so I need to go. Okay, got you. All right, so you disrespect me. I don't care what people have to say. The fact of the matter is, they don't tell you what happens on the astral realm, do they? They don't tell you how I put a stop to their bullshit or I fuck them up, do they? They don't tell you about that, do they? I don't care if it's an old crone or not, because there was somebody that uh, an old witch that had been attacking her for years was bothering her. And it took her coming and getting in contact with me. God sent her to subscribe to me and I stopped that bitch and she ain't been back yet. I told her she ain't going to be back. She ain't going to be back. All I had to do was come in fucking fussing and the, and the old ass lady with, with her own temple. And I ain't talking about the rotten tree. I ain't talking about her. It's another lady that got a goddamn temple. That be doing work on people and was doing work on this individual. Had been bothering her for years. I got on her ass. And she ain't been back and she ain't gonna fucking come back either. She ain't gonna come back. Because she's embarrassed. Okay. So see, these people who have had so much uh, negative energy to throw at me. They don't tell you that they get their ass fucked up in the spirit do they they don't tell you that under the sound of my voice i can shut their whole fucking platform down i can take away their viewers and their subscribers they may not lose all of them but they go downhill right use aphrodite stone as an example got sat the fuck down she's old enough to be my mama vanita davis sat the fuck down also known as mother wisdom you know they don't tell you about what happens to them when they call themselves smelling their assholes on me and trying to bark at me see you might bark okay but i roar and i rip flesh from nicks okay so you can bark and yip and yap, yip, 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 you know, fucking ankle biter shit. You know, you call them little dogs ankle biters. You can be a fucking ankle biter. But see, what I do is I latch on to the neck of an ankle biter and I, and I whip, whip it one good time and then throw it down and it's limp and it's dead. Okay? So just be careful messing with me. Hmm? Ain't no, ain't no fancy shit got to be done, baby. Ain't no fasting for 14 days and, 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 and crying and howling at the moon for me to get to you, baby. That's how much power that the most I have given me is here. And don't you fucking forget it. And that bitch that threw that raggedy ass voodoo doll at you and you know who you are. The one that left the voodoo doll on your porch. I got something for her ass too. Cause see that aggravated the hell out of me. 
So if you have a suspicion about who it is or if your guides or the powers tell you who it is, keep an eye on that person. Because first of all, the fucking doo-doo, the doo-doo doll, <laughs> the voodoo doll didn't have no motherfucking power in the first place. That shit was about fear. And it pissed me the fuck off, okay? So if you have a suspicion about who did that, just keep an eye on that person. Just keep an eye on them, either spiritually or however. If you Even if you don't know who it was, you will get some kind of signal that they won't ever, 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 ever do that shit again. Okay? All right. You will get some kind of suspicion or some kind of inclination or some kind of signal from the divine realm that they won't ever try that shit again. They will never fucking try that shit again. Matter of fact, I got a feeling. <laughs> I got a feeling they ain't going to bother you at all. Okay? All right. <laughs> see, I might not know these people in real life, but I can find them in the spiritual realm, okay? Because, see, they, I can sniff them out. <laughs> I can find them, okay? And I already, you know, I got a feeling, you know, I wasn't going to say nothing, but I got a feeling they're not going to bother you again. By the way, I got to write your email back. You're very, very, very welcome. I uh, will be getting to that um, channeling about what you asked me about very, very soon, uh, within the next couple of days, actually. Um, maybe sooner than that, but within the next couple of days, I got to, you know, a couple of things I got to catch up on. But I want to have a special time to really, like, look into that. Because I have a lot of energy swirling about what that is. I'm getting, there's personal things that have been coming to me, meaning like dates and numbers that may be related to, to the, dr the dream or the vision that you had. So I want to see if this is connected. And if it is, I most definitely want to include that in a channeling. So, yeah, it'll probably be by Friday. I'm, they're saying, my guides are saying by Friday, probably be by Friday. Okay, and I'll, um, of course, I'll write you back. Um, be careful. Uh, Ma'am, who wrote me about Yemaya Oshun, and, um, you know, we were talking about, um, you had a reading, a dream interpretation with me. Ma'am, be very careful with that reader. Be very careful with her. The one you knew, the one that talk about Oshun a lot. Be very careful with her. She's a fucking treacherous person. Okay. Be very careful. And, that, and I'm not saying her name so nobody can accuse me of, you know, damning or, or damaging their name. No. Be very careful with her because I've spoken on her before over a year ago. She's treacherous. She's thrown people under the bus. She's messy. I'm not saying she's not a good reader, but she's messy. So just, if you want to learn from her, that's okay. You know, a lot of people, you, we can learn from pretty much anybody, but just be careful. I wouldn't suggest you get any reading from her. She's what we call a karmic. Now, I'm not saying karmics can't give you readings or shouldn't or don't have good readings because they do have good readings. Most of them do have good readings. They've got some kind of talent, some kind of gift. Yeah, a lot of them do. Most of them do. I'm telling you for your own spiritual protection, I wouldn't fuck with her on a personal level. I would, just, you know, if you want to watch, cool. I wouldn't fuck with her on a personal level because she's not where she purports to be, especially not in Ifa and not in Voodoo. Okay. I've been peeped game on her over a year and a half ago, about a year ago. I spoke on her on my main channel. Like I said, those videos are uh, not open right now. I don't suggest you mess with her. Okay. Mm -mm. Energy's not, I, nah. Energy's no good for me. Now, it's it's improved some in the last year, but uh, no. Mm -mm. Nah, she was on some snake shit when it came to uh, another lady who is uh, a mambo. She was throwing a mambo under the bus. And the mambo read her for filth. And then she turned around months after the fact and apologized to the mambo. When the mambo was her mentor and even helping the bitch dress better. So, no, be careful with that one there. Mm hmm. That one with the same nickname as me, B R E. Yeah. Be careful with her. All right. Okay.
Just just a word of word of wisdom on that. I'm gonna write you back though. I just want to put it out on the airways. Be careful with that reader. She does not like divine matriarchs. She's intimidated by them and she's disrespectful to them. She's disrespected several divine matriarchs. One of which may went off into the deep end or the dark end. Not saying it was the mambo. It was another matriarch she disrespected. Uh, she went off into the dark end, in my opinion. Not going to go into that on how I know and what, what all that's about. But she is disrespectful because she thinks she's all of that. Okay. But all of these types are going to be humble. You know, there's a reason why she sticks to celebrity black love readings. She doesn't give you anything else, right? There's a reason for that. There's a reason why you don't see her cards, baby. There's a reason why you don't see her fucking cards. There's a reason why, okay, that you never see her cards despite all the fucking videos she puts out. She either does a blackout reading or she she be reading cards where you can't see them. There's a reason, baby, because she's a fucking karmic. Don't trust her and don't get no reading from her. And my guy said, you better not. You better not get no reading from that one that always be talking about Oshun, the one that's in the South, in Georgia. You better not. Okay. All right. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. All right. And, 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 and you get the code if you hear me. I'll write you back, though. You know, it's early in the morning. Well, it's 930. It ain't that early, but... You know, I was just, I was just, you you were on my spirit, heavy, okay, even though I haven't written you back yet, you've been on my spirit, ever since I saw her name in your email, you've been on my spirit, and my guys have been like, hell no, hell to the motherfucking no, hell to the no, 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 to the no, 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 hell no, and I guarantee you, if you check with your own ancestors and guys, they're going to tell you hell no too. Trust your intuition. Trust your intuition that it's only a, some knowledge that you get from her. You ain't meant to get nothing else from her, okay? All right, now. Anyway, y'all take care. Y'all have a good day. This is just a little morning ramble. Okay, because I have to make, make sure that the demons hear me. Hmm? And understand that this ain't no motherfucking game here. They like to play with me, but it's okay. That's how children do, right? You working with dark and light, primordial matriarchal energies. That's what demon children do. That's what they do. They play a lot. But they never want to admit that they got a fucking spanking for playing, did they? They don't never, they don't never ever want to admit that they got put on punishment, they got grounded, they got they ass whipped, whatever, they got they toys taken away, their gifts taken away. They don't they don't like to tell you that was the consequence of them playing with me, right? And people like me. Hmm. They never tell you that. They just put on a brave face. Just like children do when they get a spanking and their friends might know about it or suspect it or other people, they're ashamed, right? They try to put on a brave face and act like everything's okay. 